Hey guys, David the Outstation here. I'm going to show you guys how to paint in multicam. I've got a cooler set up. I've done all the prep work already. Uh, and we're just going to go through on how to um, do the camouflage pattern. Basically, what you're going to need is you're going to need the spray paint, uh, a bunch of stencils. I, you can buy some on Amazon. They're like 10 bucks for pre-made kind of stickers. I just made a bunch out of painter's tape. Um, kind of went off just some random camouflage patterns that I, I have around the house and uh, you're gonna need your your actual item and a little bit of some prep work and stuff but the prep work is basically just cleaning it down um, you can sand it or uh, and use like a microfiber on there and then make sure you wipe it down with like acetone or alcohol or something just to help uh, the paint stick a little bit better but without further ado let's get into it Okay, we're about to do the first base layer. Uh, as with all spray paint, you know, you make sure it's mixed up nice and good. And then you spray from a little bit, you know, probably 12 to 18 inches away and just do a nice even coat. But with brand new Kansas spray paint, there is a little bit of um, like clear or, or fluid that's right in the straw. So you gotta clear that out. Just doing the first little bit. So we've got this done, we're going to give it probably five minutes or so uh, to dry and then we're going to do our kind of first layers of the stencils in. Okay, so now we are going to put on some of the smaller bean shapes kind of randomly throughout and then we're going to do another layer over top. Okay, as you can see, I've got some of the stencils on. We're just going to start real basic, kind of random, random in pattern. And now we're going to do another base layer of a kind of lighter green color. I forgot to show this one right at the start. This is uh, one that is not from Craylon. This is Rust-Oleum, but it's still a camouflage pattern, and it's kind of a, a more light green. Same kind of thing. Give it a good shake, and again, 12 to 18 inches away. Just do some light dusting over the stencils. All right, again, we'll give it about five, 10 minutes to dry and then we'll put some more stencils on. We are back. It's been a couple minutes. Pretty dry. Um, I'm gonna let it dry for a few more minutes uh, until it doesn't feel like kinda sticky. And then I'm gonna put some more stencils over it. I'm gonna try to not cover uh, or overlap too much with some of the other ones that are already on there. Uh, I'm going to save that for some of the bigger ones that I have over top, so that way you get kind of a layered effect. But right now, I'm just going to try and fill in some of the other spaces. Alright, got some more stencils on. I'm going to move to the darker green color. Alright, same kind of thing, we're going to give it a couple minutes to dry, and then we'll put on some more stencils. So we've got the kind of dark green on there, I'm going to put a few more stencils on, and then we're going to go to the dark brown and see how it looks. It is time for some of the darker brown color. Same thing, give it 5-10 minutes, and then I'm going to put some of the bigger stencils that cover most of it 
Uh, and then we're going to go with the top layer of the lighter tan again. Well, I'm going to do my final layer. I'm going to put some bigger strips of the stencils over top of everything. And then we're going to do another layer of tan over top. Last layer of tan. And then we're going to finish it off with just a few little uh, kind of stripes of the darker brown. Alright, we're going to let this dry for probably 10-15 minutes. I'll start pulling off the stencils and we'll see what the pattern looks like. This is the pattern uh, we turned out with. It, it's not quite uh, multi camish how you know I was hoping however you know I'm still pretty happy with it it's pretty unique um, I get or I got a little bit of overspray on it I'm hoping to uh, be able to get rid of that with just some alcohol and some uh, uh, paper towels that I'm gonna scrub at it um, I might have to brush it off or see what happens or I might just leave it whatever um, I'm gonna take care of that and see if we can't make it cleaned up a little bit better. Well I got it cleaned up a little bit better. It looks pretty good. Um, I'm probably gonna have to power wash some of the other stains out of it as well. Um, but I'm gonna let this dry up. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the adhesive velcro you can get at like Walmart or Lowe's or whatever. And I'm just gonna put a little strip at the bottom here so I can put a name tape on. And I think that it should look pretty cool. So I will take care of that and then I'll show you guys the finished product. So I got that on there, installed that quick. I've got you know, just a standard army name tape. Uh, it's not going to go anywhere. That looks pretty good to me. Alright guys, that was kind of a, you know, a first test of how you know painting and camouflage goes for me. The first time I've ever done anything like that. but. Um, you know, if you guys have any recommendations for me or suggestions, something else, something else that I could try uh, to get a little bit more true to, um, you know, like a multicam color, that would be much appreciated. I think I would, you know, maybe incorporate a little bit more, um, like a, a more light, lighter brown or like an orangish kind of color in there. I think that seems to be a little bit, you know, more present in a multicam setup, but. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.